the Mass General Brigham Innovation Discovery Grant Program, IDG, began in 2014. Since its inception, the IDG program has awarded more than $3.6 million in grants. The program supports an innovative culture that fosters the discovery, development, and commercialization of technologies to improve the health and well-being of patients and society. It is one of the first steps in bridging the gaps to translate discoveries made within the academic space into companies and products. Congratulations to this year's Innovation Discovery Grant Award winners. Hi, thank you. Welcome back for this exciting segment in this year's World Medical Innovation Forum, the announcement of the winners of the latest round of Innovation Discovery Grants. Innovation and translation is a major strategic priority for the Mass Journal Brigham system, and the Innovation Discovery Grants are a longstanding tool to, to accomplish those goals. I'm very pleased to be able to join Ravi Tadhani and Jürgen Eckert, uh, Dr. Jürgen Eckert, uh, head of Leaps by Bear to make these announcements. Uh, they are both uh, at the forefront of their organizations, driving translation and innovation out, innovative outcomes. It's my pleasure to re uh, introduce Dr. Ravi Tadhani again, co-chair of the forum, and forum who will um, tell us more about the IDG program. Thank you, Chris, and congratulations certainly on the meeting thus far, which has just been excellent. Uh, I'm pleased to be here to share the 2021 innovation Discovery grants, sparking innovation is certainly essential and critical to the mission of Mass General Brigham and our strategy for caring for patients and our communities. These grants aim to enhance the commercial outcomes of Mass General Brigham's strategy, accelerating discoveries from the lab to the bedside, as you've heard by many of the speakers um, earlier today and yesterday. Since the inception of the IDG program in 2014, Projects have been awarded a combined uh, 3.6 million, and together they have raised uh, over 70 million actually uh, to further their development. So they get kickstarted and then they get further developed, which is just amazing. This round of awards focuses, no surprise, on gene and cell therapies. We're excited about that, recognizing really the incredible potential that's been part of this particular meeting. Chris? Thank you, Ravi. So now we turn it over to Dr. Jurgen Eckert. Uh, he leads Leaps by Barry. He's going to tell us a little bit about them. They've made gene and cell therapy a major priority. It's a very innovative model, the Leaps uh, structure within the, the Bayer, the Bayer family. And Jurgen, why don't you take it away? Thank you, Chris and Ravi. It's uh, such a pleasure to be here today. Leaps by Bayer is excited and honored to be a partner of the 2021 Innovation Discovery Grants here at the World Medical Innovation Forum. Leaps by Bayer is really focused on funding early stage technology, seed round or series A, recognizing and supporting academic research in the life sciences is absolutely at the heart of our idea that most of today's man-made problems can best be tackled by man-made innovation. This notion was really the starting point when LEAPS was created in 2015 with the aim of breaking through the impossible in life science investment, in scale, in risk, and in collaboration. To date, we have actually invested more than $1.2 billion into a portfolio of, uh, a portfolio of over uh, 35 companies. Some are new companies we actually co-founded. Uh, others are early stage investments in existing companies. All are developing technologies that could be both profitable as well as sustainable while helping to solve some of the biggest challenges facing humanity today. In fact, many of the companies Leaps has invested into in the past few years are based here in the Boston area and have their scientific roots in the cell and gene therapy field. I'll give you a couple of examples. In 2019, we invested in eGenesis, a fascinating company that spun out of George Church's lab at Harvard. eGenesis is using CRISPR-Cas9 to gene edit non-human organs with the aim of ending the global shortage of donor organs. Another example is Blue Rock Therapeutics, 
also a Boston-based company that was co-founded by Leaps and then actually acquired by Bayer uh, three years later in 2019. Blue Rock's mission is to cure neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's with uh, iPSCs, induced pluripotent stem cells. And it has gone into phase one trials recently. My understanding is that you will uh, all learn much more about Blue Rock in the course of this event. So what really makes Leaps by Bayer unique is that we focus our investments on truly paradigm shifting advances, big ambitious ideas. We use minority equity investments as our tool to achieve this mission and to drive partnering in our industry to the next level, especially between, especially partnering between academia and industry. I'm very pleased to also introduce the entering program for the IDG winners. This will cover scientific, technological, strategic and commercial aspects of innovation and create shared learning opportunities for the teams involved. Great, thanks so much, Jurgen. And you know, from where we sit, we can't help but note the significance of the buyer embrace of open innovation. This collaboration, this mentoring certainly builds on a vibrant platform uh, that we've established with you and you've established with us, including our large uh, alliance built around finding new therapies for COPD. So we look forward to working with you and buyer ever more on these programs in gene and cell therapy. Yeah, so do we. We very much look forward to this collaboration. Bridging between academia and industry is uh, critical, I think, to advancing technology breakthroughs that can make a difference in people's lives. And we are very grateful to be part of this. Together with the Bayer Open Innovation Team based here in Cambridge, we are committed to ensuring that new potential breakthrough ideas get all the support uh, and uh, opportunities possible. Thank you, Gan. And now we transition to announcing the winners. There are six of them. And Dr. Ravi, Dr. Ravi Thadhani, our Chief Academic Officer, is going to kick us off. The first, the first winner is Lydia Lynch from Brigham and Women's Hospital, generating superior killers for adoptive cell therapy and cancer. The second winner is Peter the Sage, uh, also from Brigham and Women's Hospital for novel strategies to enhance TFR treatment of autoimmunity. The third winner is Ji Jun Shi, Brigham and Women's Hospital, long lasting mRNA therapy for genetic disorders. The next winner uh, from Massachusetts General Hospital is Yulia Grishuk. Uh, for AAV-based gene replacement therapy, therapy that improves targeting and clinical outcomes in a childhood CNS disorder. The next winner is also from the Massachusetts General Hospital, Benjamin Klein-Stiver, towards a permanent genetic cure for spinal muscular atrophy. And finally, the sixth and, and final award that we will announce today from Mass Eye and Ear, uh, it goes to Peter Petra uh, Barnoff for differentiation of retinal neurons for cell replacement and glaucoma. So again, on behalf of uh, Dr. Thadhani and our entire leadership, congratulations to the winners. These are terrific projects. We couldn't be more excited. Stay tuned uh, to hear more about this work in the future. So uh, I think with that, uh, we will uh, conclude this announcement and move to the rest of the program. Thank you, thank you, Jurgen and Bayer for your support.